I mean, if you tell a parent you're going to lose your school now or you're going to do cohabitation, I mean, most parents are probably going to say cohabitation, right? They don't want to lose their school. But the truth is, is that cohabitation is, is just a, a, a slow process of, of eroding our, our system. That, that's the way uh, I see it. I'm looking at other solutions. Uh, I'm not finding any, uh, and, and the minister uh, seems to have found some, but he needed to invoke his powers. So I would like to know what solutions he expected the school board to come up with. For me as a mother of three, it completely, we don't know where we're going, what we're doing. He's supposed to be graduating next year. It's like, what are we supposed to do? This kid, you know, he has phonics dyslexia. Right now, we're just trying to see what can be done. They need schools, we have space. There could be something logical to be done and a decision made that's good for both communities. Dear Mr. Robert, please, please don't shut down General Park. It's the best school ever for a kid who has a disability. This school helped me so much. I had so many other kids and parents spent so much time helping us this school. Don't close the school. Thank you for reading this letter. Do you have any idea where they might send you? Uh, not really, because we didn't really see this coming. And I just hope the school doesn't close. <laughs> what are you writing to the minister in your letter? What do you want to say to me? Well, I wanted to say, like, put, put yourself in our shoes, that it's really hard making new friends, and like I said, graduating with other people. Point de Lille has now told us that they need pupil spaces of 3,000 schools, so it, three, three schools would still not suffice. We would be looking at eight schools. Can you imagine the logistics of, of cohabitation, whether it be for the EMSB or La Pointe de Lille, is, is, very, is going to be very, very difficult. So, uh, and it's just a matter of time that you can start with cohabitation, but then ultimately they're going to have to need the whole building. You know, uh, any financial compensation is welcome, but it does not, it does not uh, come close to what it means in terms of the human factor involved with, the, with what we're being asked to do and, and giving up three schools with the movement of students, staff, uh, parents at the end of a school year. It's, it, it just can't compensate.